do you think initially inspired your love of animals? Um, well, I grew up with cats, and my cat was my best friend. <laughs> and when I was a kid, he was like my everything. Um, when I had to move out of Jersey and move to LA, it was and it was tough. And then when I when he when he finally passed mm -hmm. away at an old age, I remember crying as if it was like my my you know child. They um, become family. Pets become yeah, family. Yeah. So uh, I just always had an affinity for cats. But um, the thing that inspired me to start working with Humane Society was not that. It was. Um, it was actually more uh, the subject of factory farming that kind of um, really struck a chord with me and enraged me. And lately, I've been working with them recently to try to um, um, uh, rectify the atrocities that you know, occur every day. What can everyday people do to to fix this? Uh, well, I think uh, know where your food comes from. Uh, you know, when you go to the grocery store, know what you're supporting. There's certain specific brands that. Um, you know, uh, confined animals in like gestation crates. I can't even, they're, they're literally born to die. And it's a, uh, I think, I think do your best to buy free range and, and you know, I think uh, local as well. Um, you know, buy local from your local farms. I mean, it's, it's really hard in this day and age, but there's a way to do it. And I think we need to start.